Welcome to this SIGO online training demonstration. This demonstration will provide directions to complete the initial setup of a SIGO IO director. For the purposes of this demonstration, it is assumed that an unconfigured SIGO IO director has been installed in a rack using the procedures defined in the standard product documentation. Initial setup configures the Ethernet management interface. The Ethernet management port is located on the management board. Initial setup must be completed using the serial port on the management board. You will need the DB9 to RJ45 converter that came with the accessory kit of the chassis, a standard network cable, and a serial port on a laptop or some equivalent equipment. Use these settings for your serial communication software to connect to the serial port of the chassis. Now we are ready to begin the initial setup of a SIGO IO director. Here we see a serial communication session to a chassis. Notice that this chassis is not configured based on the login string. Once the chassis is configured, the host name will display on the login string. Enter the default username of admin and the default password of admin to access the command line interface. The first question displayed asks if I wish to run the XGOS configuration wizard. I must complete this process to configure the Ethernet management port. Enter a host name and a domain name that are appropriate for your environment. Then I am asked if I want this chassis to be the InfiniBand subnet manager. Every InfiniBand fabric must have a subnet manager, so I want to answer yes to this question. Diagnostic data can be sent to SIGO for analysis or proactive support. You may decide to enable this feature now, but you can always change this setting later. Now I need to enter and confirm some passwords for the chassis. I am prompted for the root password first. The root password is very important for any system, but we do not use root access under normal circumstances. Then I need to provide the admin password. Initially, all administration tasks use this username and password, but other administrative accounts can be added later. Finally, I need to specify the recovery password. Similar to the root password, you won't use the recovery password under normal circumstances. Now I get to configure the IP address for the Ethernet management interface. You may choose either a static or a DHCP assigned address. Choose the setting appropriate for your environment and provide the necessary details. Lastly, we must assign a time zone for the chassis. Again, choose the setting appropriate for your environment. Configuration of the Ethernet management interface begins immediately. Notice that the command prompt now contains the host name and I will see a status message for the Ethernet management port as it is brought online. Now I can connect to the management interface over the Ethernet port using SSH. Assuming I remember the passwords, I can change any of the settings defined in this configuration script at a later time. That completes this demonstration of initial setup of a SIGO IO director. Thanks for watching.